to the Bluegrass Recession, uh, our first episode of the year. Uh, turkey season didn't pan out, didn't get very good footage of the turkeys that I did have, so I didn't put any of those out. Um, not going to say it was because I missed it a turkey or nothing, but uh, I just won't go there. Um, but so. This episode is going to consist of the boxes I have behind me. The mailman probably likes me a lot after today and probably the next couple of days. And so since I've been hunting, I've been bow hunting since 2011, 2010, 2011. Um, I kept that bow for three years killed several deer with it there was a PSE stinger oh man it was it was awesome and then uh, I went in 2015 and I bought a PSE surge that was it was 16 to 70 uh, pretty adjustable draw weight um, so this year I got a new bow keep it to a surprise right now uh, but I went with 60 pound limbs uh, maxed out because I I didn't want to quite get up to the 70 pound limbs um, and if I was I was going to knock it down to 65 I'd rather lose the 2 pounds keep it maxed out keep it shooting uh, its potential and uh, so the new bow I have is a Hoyt Helix. I don't know if you can see it there or not. Um, I was able to find a good deal on this. Um, so, if you're gonna, this episode is going to be building my new bow, which you'll probably say, well, you done got a rest on there. I do. I'm like a kid in a candy store when I get this stuff. This is the first day it's been here. Um, if I knew if I didn't make the video tonight, it'd all be on the boat tonight anyways. So, I'm going to go ahead and make the video while I unbox and while I put it on. So, I was able to find a good deal on the bow. Um, over the weekend, I took it, had the draw weight fit, or the draw length fixed. A new D loop and the peep sock fix, and then I was able to find a good deal on a Hamsky Hybrid Hunter Pro. Uh, first time I ever lip uh, using a limb driven um, rest, and I've, in the past I've had cable driven, and then my first bow had the good old whisker biscuit on it. So first time using a limb driven one and it was too good of a deal to pass up on the ham ski and what well, a little bit I pulled it back. I've like I haven't shot it yet, so we'll see. Um, so we're gonna deck it out. Um, everything should be here if the mailman brought it off. I was going through trying to see uh, what came and what didn't come. It looks like everything did come. So We'll see what we got here and get it unboxed. I'm going to set this right here. Okay, so let's go. So I got, I've been watching. Uh, I watch a lot of hunting videos, um, and one of the main ones that I like the most um, is the hunting public. And I'm sure if you haven't seen them, go check them out. If you have seen them, then you know about what I'm about ready to talk about. Um, so, kind of the reason why I, I was going to get a new boat, anyways. Um, next year um, and kind of the reason why I went ahead and just got one this year was because I was really wanting to change my arrow setup 
Um, and their thing is that they've been talking about is um, heavier arrows, which the hunting public and the ranch fairy have been teamed up. And if you haven't watched Ranch Fairy videos, you need to watch them. And in the next video or the video after that, we're going to be doing uh, bear shaft tuning on my new arrows and knock tuning. Um, so we're going to go the whole Ranch Fairy way. So <clears throat> that's kind of the reason why I was like, I don't really want to spend all that time doing everything to the arrows this year and I'll we'll have to change it back up next year, which would be kind of similar. But I just went ahead, I got a good deal, I was able to um, find a good deal on this bow and was able to sell my old one to be able to get this one. So, the first package here um, is going to be my, I went with some AAE Max, if you can see that, I don't know if it focuses very well. Um, AE Max 2.7 inch veins um, for uh, my arrows. Um, so we'll just go ahead. I don't know what this box is. It was kind of already kind of open whenever I got home. And like I said, I'm like a little kid in the candy store. Can't keep from opening stuff up or looking in it if it's already. Open. Like, I feel sorry for my parents during Christmas because I may not have opened it up, but you can read what's on the side of the box and research what you might need to look, what you can find. So, I was really debating on what arrows to use this year. Uh, I've done a lot of research. Uh, and actually the ranch fairy, if you email him, I emailed him, uh, he emailed me back and me and him uh, kind of discussed the type of arrow setup that I was going to go with uh, and what I would need to look for um, and he's really good about messaging you back about the things that you uh, might possibly want to get. So I ended up going with the... Black Eagle, over here, this is probably better. Black Eagle Zombie Slayers. Um, I got them in 300 spine, kind of stiffen up, and uh, the point, of course, 0 .001. Uh, so we're gonna get that. I'll have to, since I got my arrows now, I can finally finish tuning my rest before I take it, take it, or kind of, finish setting it up and everything because I know it's probably not perfect. Um, so, so far I've got my fletchings and my shafts. So go to the exciting big box, bigger boxes. Um, So, perfect. This is my shrewd single adjust V bar. Yeah, single or adjustable V bar. So, we can put this back here on the back. Down the wrong one. And actually, you might make it be able to look a little bit better. Uh, again, the little kid in the candy store got the best of me on several things. Um, So I have already purchased and put on um, um, 
a quick connect for my front stabilizer and I actually have already mounted my front stabilizer but I took it off just for the video so that we can act like we're doing it together here hopefully this will work Looks like it came with some stainless ones, but I figured this black would make it look a little bit better. So I got that one. I went with a six and a ten up, a ten up front. So let me mount this one. That worked out good because then now this looks better because I can hide the silver and still keep it blacked out. So, oh yeah, got that on there, mounted on, it's looking good. Okay, so, to the next box. Don't really have a good spot to lay this, so we're just going to make it work. Okay, so on to the next box. We should have hopefully one of the last things we need. And it is. It would be. The sot that I picked this year is a Trophy Ridge Fixed 5. Uh, I looked at the React and just couldn't really bring myself to spend the money on a uh, Trophy or the Trophy Ridge React sot. Um, so I went with the uh, Fixed 5 which um, I like I like a good five pin saw so let's open this up here so after going back watching or editing my video to be able to post it I noticed that all of my video didn't get put on there so or didn't get recorded so, to kind of finish up the process, what I left off with was the SOT, which I went with a Trophy Ridge 5 pin fixed 5. Um, and I did figure out the lot 
took a little bit to figure that out. Um, but hopefully the bow setup is going to be good this year. Um, so far, I like it. Just looking at it, looks good. Looks sharp. Um, but what I was saying at the end, what I was saying at the end was that um, deer season comes in September fifth. Definitely, definitely, definitely will be out opening weekend. Um, it's going to be me um, and my buddy Seth will be bow hunting. My sister said she's going to bow hunt, but I doubt we'll get to um, video her because she's not a big fan of it. Um, we might eventually get it. I think we're softening her up a little bit. Um, and then two weeks after bow season comes in, crossbow season comes in, so then definitely will be with my dad uh, watching him hunt uh, with his crossbow. Uh, so hopefully we have a good year. We've got some preference points saved up for a couple for a hunt. Um, so hopefully we'll get drawn for that this year. And uh, unfortunately we didn't get drawn for the elk hunt. Um, we may get to go hunt with a few other people this year depending on how it goes. Um, but definitely, definitely stay with us this year. Um, I'm going to be putting out a lot of content this fall. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do per hunt basis or if I'm just going to do like a weekly update on how it's going. Um, but stay with us this year. Um, I'm going to get the bow sided in so the next video is going to probably be um, tuning the bow, paper tuning, bear shaft tuning, and everything like that. So stay with us and hopefully we get us a good deer this year.